Hello everyone, welcome to the Creative Elements Challenge. I'm super excited to be bringing this challenge to YouTube. This challenge is all about sparking creativity and making art in short bursts. So I filmed the challenge at home. I wanted to keep it really cozy and accessible. And in this first video, I'll be taking you through the supplies that I'll be using. So I hope that you really enjoy it. Let's get into it. So I have a couple of baskets here and I'll use those to gather up my supplies and I'll be using Daniel Smith watercolours and I have some warm and cool colours here. So I'm not quite sure exactly what I'll be using but I want to give myself a few options. I have some acrylic inks, just a couple of those, some Posca and Micron pens, various colours. I usually use black, white and gold. Some scissors because we'll be doing some collage work and I also want to bring down just a few other scrapey, scratchy kind of tools that I can use to make marks. Maybe something like this, uh, a credit card or something similar for scraping and the collage papers as well. So I have some already from magazines and various bits of art that I've done. So maybe I'll just pop them on the top for the moment. Okay. So I have some golden gel medium, which I'll be using for adhering collage into my journals and disposable palette. I find these very handy because you can use them for acrylic, watercolour, oil. And when I'm finished with them, I often cut them up and use the palette in my collage work. So it can serve two purposes. I also have a porcelain palette, which is lovely for watercolour. And then I have the most important thing, my sketchbooks or journals, if you will. So I have one here, which is a handmade journal. This is made by Wendy Organic, So I'll link that in the notes. And I also have my favorite journal that I use for all of my mixed media work at the moment. And this one is made by the Handbook Journal Company. It's a square format, which I absolutely adore. And again, I'll link that in the notes. And I also have a few magazines that I'll be bringing down. Magazines are so handy to have for collage, but also just for inspiration. I often flick through them before I start making art. So let's head down to the kitchen table. So I've brought my supplies down to the kitchen table and there were a few things that I forgot to mention. One of which is it's always handy to have some paper towel. So I like to have that for um, using for any kind of areas that I want to mop paint up from. But also I'm going to pop this down here with my water containers on there. So I have two jars of water there. And I also have a bunch of brushes. I have some mixed media, um, affordable brushes here. And I also have some slightly more uh, higher quality, I would say, um, watercolour brushes here that I try and use mostly for my watercolour work. These are Princeton Neptune brushes, um, but I sometimes use them for acrylic ink as well. Let me see where will I put these, tuck them in. Yeah. Okay. And I also have some masking tape. This is an artist masking tape. I use this to frame areas of the page. And I want to just mention that be careful with the masking tape, test it out a bit because some tapes do tear the paper and you do need to be very careful. You can always remove a little bit of the tackiness of the tape. You can stick it to your clothes and remove some of the tackiness that way or even heat it up a bit with a hairdryer to loosen the glue if you are having problems. It's completely optional. If you prefer, you can not work with any kind of tape or you can rule, use a ruler and draw out a frame. But I'll get more into that later. I just wanted to mention it. So before we get started, I wanted to talk about what the Creative Elements Challenge is all about. So one of the reasons that I wanted to put this together is I often hear things like, I don't know where to start, I'm feeling overwhelmed, 
I don't know how to bring my own unique sense of style into my work. I keep using the same marks and I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut. So if any of those things sound familiar, this is going to be a great exercise to do. It will be running over five days. So there's five tasks that I'll be setting you that will help you in building up reference material for your art. Because one of the things that I have realized is that having a sketchbook practice is super helpful when it comes to sitting down to paint because you have these helpers. In your sketchbook, you can flick through and refer to things like color palettes, uh, sketches, compositional studies, mini paintings, and then it often doesn't take long to get a spark and be able to get into your art practice. So I'm a big fan of using sketchbooks as part of your work. The other reason that I wanted to do this challenge is to encourage you to fit art into your lives. I know that our lives are pretty busy. We have kids, we have older parents, we have pets, we have jobs and all sorts of demands. And working in a sketchbook can allow you to continue up your art even when you only have a small amount of time or you're feeling pretty overwhelmed because all of the things that we'll be doing are short and quick and they're just parts of a painting. So each day we are focusing on an area. So on the first day, it will be color palette. The second day, it will be backgrounds. The third day, it will be mark making. Then we move into imagery. And finally, we'll be doing some mini paintings. So we'll be bringing those things together and coming up with some little paintings that you can then look at and see if you want to later on scale up and make into a bigger piece. So that's the idea of the challenge. I'm very excited about it. This is exactly the way that I work in my own art practice. And I hope that it will be helpful and encouraging for you.